Today I'm going to talk to you about an interesting thing I found about the Star Wars. In the Star Wars, um, there is always the good side and the bad side or in Star Wars terminology, the light side and the dark side. Anybody even remotely familiar with Star Wars knows this. And they also know that generally throughout the Star Wars saga, you see two people. You see Yoda and you see Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine. These, these two are based on who most of the storyline happens. So very clearly Yoda is on the light side and Emperor Palpatine is on the dark side. But one of the most fascinating things about Star Wars are these sabers, the lightsabers. Now the lightsabers are very very interesting. The good people or, or those on the light side always seem to have a green saber and uh, those on the dark side always seem to have uh, a red saber and that's what it is. Now the thought that I had was how is it that they define the sabers that they use. In what context does somebody decide or find that they have a red saber versus that they have the green sabers? Is it like us that they can just walk into a shop and they can go, hey, can you give me the light uh, as in the red colored saber or can you give me the one that's blue or green? Very clearly not. Very clearly, uh, something else is at play. And let me explain um, how this might be working. One, two, three, four, five, six. That six green sabers for the light side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six red sabers on the dark side. Now, for you to remember, that these are green I'm going to keep one of them up here and for you to remember that this is red I'm gonna keep one of them here why would you need to remember this simply because in a moment I'm gonna turn them over right and when I turn them over now there's no other way other than turning them you wouldn't really know which is green or which is red and I do not want you to get confused but here's what I found I found that the sabers are not so much based on uh, which pack they come from. It's actually based on uh, where Palpatine or Yoda are. Like right now, these two sabers are with them. And But if I move them this side, this whole pile changes to being green this side and red this side. And that's like fascinating right because uh, if I now again move this over and I just move these um, to the top you would see that the moment they touch them they again become red on this side and green on this it's very very fascinating because if uh, you actually even just keep the cards and then you make this move even then it works because now Again, you have red with Palpatine and green with Yoda. Um, it also works if I sort of exchange the pile itself because now again, uh, if I keep one here and keep one here, they become green on this side and red on this. And now you're going to be like, okay, one more time, um, can you do that? And uh, that should be that should be easy enough because if I just touch that again, um, they would again become green and red. So what I finally figured because of this is that the sabers by themselves don't really have any color. The sabers take color from the power that they draw, and since it's Palpatine who is the dark side, all the sabers become red. And since you have Yoda, the all good, on this side, you have all the sabers turning green to signify that they are the light side. 
I hope you liked my act of are you the light side or dark side.